When we review or report on something, we don't want there to be any guesswork. We believe the information must be accurate and it has to be reliable. For what we review, the goal is hopefully to educate our audience and at the same time an equally important goal is in turn to get educated ourselves. What we want to do is earn the trust of our audience and to do that we ensure what we report is accurate, rumor free and teaser free. The premium cigar industry is so dynamic and every day brings something new. We wanted Cigar Coop to be an extension of that experience so it has to be 365 days a year. We wanted to create a true media ecosystem and integrate Cigar Coop with the power of our Stogie Geeks programming network. Welcome back, everyone, to the Stogie Geek Show. This is our Stogies of the Week segment. There's an oasis buried in here with all some good smokes. I'm curious to see what you guys thought of some of the smokes I've given to you recently. Raymond, why don't you kick us off? Uh, <clears throat> recently smoked this uh, this morning, 724, the Hustler Dogwater Barber Pole. Dog uh, water? Dog water. <laughs> Hustler Dog Walker. Dog water. You said dog water. <laughs> oh. Those are two totally different things. What are you thinking about? But I digress. Good lord. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Brazilian Matafina and Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Costa Rican uh, binder. Nicaraguan filler. Um, smoke the Toro six by fifty four, and uh, ten dollar price point box of ten. Um, so you able to pull some creaminess, chocolate, and earthy notes. And uh, price point for me is a little high for what it was, but it was. An enjoyable, an enjoyable smoke over two hours. Um, I gave it a fiver rating. Medium cigar uh, from Kirk Kendall. And uh, not bad. Uh, I'm more partial to uh, some of his, his regular stuff. But nice. Yeah. It, it was worth, uh, worth a shot. You know, reach out. And it literally was like a two and a half hour smoke. I was, I was blown away. I, I wasn't severely uh, occupied either. Nice. Nice. I smoked a La Flor de Antilles uh, Torpedo Maduro. This was really good. They, they are really good. Great burn and construction on it. Um, I was really impressed uh, with that aspect of it, as well as the flavor, too. I thought it had great, great flavor. Good everyday smoking cigar. I would go box split on this because it was such a great... I think it kind of got... It's interesting when that came out and it got number one cigar of the year, right? Well, the, the natural wrap got number one cigar of the year. It was a 2013? Yes. It was funny because I didn't even know they came out with a Maduro. And I was in another shop and I saw it and went, are you kidding? When, when did that happen? I got to smoke that. I know. And I didn't like the, that number one choice. Like it just wasn't a great cigar for me. But then they had these other ones They're in the tube. They're good. They're not number one. Well, the ones in the tube are awesome. I don't know that size. They blended slightly differently for the tube version. And then this Maduro was really good. So um, props to them. Nice. Joe Hollywood. I smoked a Nesta Miranda Art Deco Robusto Grande. Ooh. Um, f- did you ever have one? Ever have what? Uh, size was uh, five and a half by fifty-four. Uh, it's available in a few different sizes, but uh, the wrapper is Nicaraguan Corojo. The binder is Dominican Carrillo. 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 I, I, I always go to ninety-eight, right? Ninety-eight. You'll and, get it. You'll uh, get it someday. Uh, someday, One right? Uh, and the filler is a Nicaraguan Corojo ninety-nine. Um, when I first lit this cigar, I was like, eh, it's okay. And then once you get... And then it got and you. Once you get halfway through, I had a V-cut, and I'm like, wow. And to my amazement, they weren't selling. Is this the one you, you know, were guys talking about next door that wasn't... No, this oh. one was specifically over at the old firehouse. No, so but the got, one next door is the Nest Miranda Grand Reserve 2012. Yeah. The blue one. Yep. yep. That is one of my top ten favorite cigars of all Recon. time. Thank you. And I Thank you. Yeah, because you very, very, very well. Yeah. I don't understand why nobody smokes those. Right. I was shocked. Very puzzling. You, normally yep. when I go to Havana Club, I go straight for the Falitos and grab an Ingenio number 10 because that's just... What I smoke when I'm here, there's no other place to get it, and I love right. that cigar. But for some reason, one day I was like, "Let me take a look around," and I found them. I was like, "You uh, still have these? Sweet gem? Are you kidding? I have one. We were just talking about humidors. Yeah. I, I have a hundred count humidor that's not completely full, but it's getting there. Of, I call it my six months to live humidor. Nice. That when I get yes. when somebody looks at me and says, "You have six yes. months to live," that's when I start smoking out of that one. I had one left in there. I'm like, I have to stock up on these. That's a great. 
great smoke. I know. I got to go next door. We totally trumped Joe Hollywood's. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, no I'm, I'm, I'm actually surprised that. He just hijacked you. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's all good. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, uh, if, if you can't pronounce what it is, then you can hijack all of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I look at it. But no, like it's amazing how this brand does not it doesn't. move. It doesn't. And it, it, it kills me. Right. Because you know what? Nestor's a great guy. If, you, if you've yeah. ever met yeah. Nestor, you know mm-hmm. he's awesome. I've spent th- God, three hours with him playing dominoes, drinking rum, just talking. Right. About, not even talking about the scar business. Just talking about life in general. He's such an interesting guy. He's like the world's most interesting man. He, he really, really is. is. Yeah. It, it's weird. And he's so knowledgeable about tobacco. A lot of his stuff's actually made at the My Father factory. Yep. Which is one of the most well-known factories in the world. So it really surprises me when his cigars don't sell. Right. Right, and smoke they this, absolutely should. Smoke this thing right down to the nub, and and nice. you're like, wow, like this is such a yeah. good smoke. And it's Massachusetts, so it's still in that high eight price point, which means that here in Rhode Island, it'd be in the low eight price point. You know, yeah. eight bucks is thick, and like I'm su- surprised he's got boxes of them. Yeah. Because the Art Deco is in that tin thing. It's got a little vintage 1950s yeah. retro um kind of boxing and whatnot but yeah it's it's amazing uh i i definitely gave it a, a box split if if you can get your hands on these because oh, absolutely right at the end you get such a nice blast of pepper right is that what you picked up on that or yeah that's what i picked up on that and that's actually why i like the Graham reserve 2012 because a lot of times when people say you get a blast of pepper it's like a little blast of pepper mm-hmm. That one gives you a big blast of pepper, but it's like not. This one. <laughs> it's not some big blast of pepper yeah, coming from this yeah, one. Yeah, the, the Onurons is similar too, mm. but it's not super overpowering to the point where you're like, oh, you feel like I just licked a pepper grinder. It's enjoyable pepper, right? Especially it's, the way it kicks in. Like yeah, you, you, like when you first light it, you're like, yeah, because it's like all, a slow. It's, increase. it's it's real slow, and you should definitely pick some up in your travels Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. You know, they've got tons of them. It's like the exact opposite of Lenox, where when you light up a Lenox, you go, holy crap. And then as you go, it kind of it, mellows out and gets right. smoother and easier. It builds as you smoke it in the reverse direction of a Lenox. It's spectacular. But even I carry That's his... That's comparison. I, I like that. Yeah. I, I carry his Maduro, his Corojo, his Habano, and his Connecticut, and they don't... They move okay, but they don't move as well as they should because mm. they're really good cigars. Right. Rayman, what else you got? Got uh, Christoph Maduro Lancero, uh, seven and a half by forty, Brazilian Maduro, Cuban seed Dominican binder, Cuban seed Dominican and Nicaraguan filler, uh, eight dollar price point. Smoked the last night watching the uh, Stanley Cup and really get into it and enjoyed it. This first, I'm a big Christoph guy, everybody knows, but uh, have not smoked this one in particular in the Lancero size. Um, I give it a box split. Chocolate, spice, and coffee came in the forefront, and uh, great burn, plenty of smoke, and uh, uh, I give it like a good pace. That it was, uh, I didn't have to, didn't have to worry about it. Did everything I wanted it to do uh, for that like two hour segment or so, you know. Yeah. So did you smoke it, or did it smoke you? <laughs> it took full advantage of me. <laughs> Put a drink down my throat, took a bit. No. I love there's two things about that cigar I love. One, the shaggy foot. I love the shaggy foot they do on those cigars. And two, I get like a chicory note with that. It's not just like a coffee, it's almost like a New Orleans chicory coffee, which is one of my favorite things on the face of the planet. So I, I I've it always loved the coffee. Your palate's more refined, sir, but um, I'm, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to revisit it and uh, see if it gets so actually, all, some all, chicory. All, all some this chicory. small ring talk, it's not a Lancero, but I had to light up the Joel Sherman. I had to do it. Those so are awesome. Valentino, if you're watching, that, that's, that's for you. There it is. Because this is his favorite cigar. Nice. Joe Hollywood. Pure Soul Honduran, 54 by 6. Um, another cigar that, again, was kind of just sitting in the humidor. Mm. Um, it did have some, some age on it for a while. Um, I was speaking to the, sh- the uh, shop owner. I bought this one over at Old Firehouse again. Had a chance to get there and do some work. And the wrapper is Honduras, binder Honduras, and filler is Honduras. It says medium to full in the rating. I don't know. I kind of gave it. Does it have a red band on it? No, it has a uh, green band. Green. Okay. Oh, that's yep. the green one. Okay. Yeah, it has a green band. Uh, I did have the other one with the brown band uh, there. The, the red yeah, it's like one. a reddish oh, brownish yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. I'm already prepared because I knew you guys were going to say, well, Joe, which one is the one with the brown band? <laughs> <laughs> so, as soon as the internet kicks in, right, the one with the uh, brown band 
is the uh, Purisol Maduro. It has a gold band, so it's gold. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So it's 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 there. So um, I don't know. I I like the the uh, taste of the of the true hun- the true Honduran smoke. Uh, it it's it, a nice er- earthiness to it. I find. Yeah. 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 It's 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 earthy. It's it says that it's full. I kind of think it's it's barely full. It's just it's just on that that on medium. Yeah. yeah. And and what I like about it is with my palate, um, it tends to give it a break if it's a true Honduran. Yeah. Smoke, you know, gives it a break. You don't get that blast of pepper. You get a subtle, uh, a, a good subtle earthy note. Uh, came out in the IPCPR 2014. Uh, had the opportunity to actually meet him. I met him in. in He's uh, really cool. I met him in crossings. Like you know, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, uh, he's a musician. And it's one yeah, of those things. Yeah, did an event with uh, Mr. J's. Yeah. yeah, very cool guy. Right, right. And I'm like, uh, you know, th- th- that explains the saxophone on his on his bind uh, oh, yeah. on the and box. I can't remember. Does Christian just distribute that line, or does he make it too? Um, that's a good question. I know that he distributes it. I'm not too sure if he makes well, it's it. Well, Honduran, so he might. Yeah, he probably does. Yeah. 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 So it's a, it's a, it's an amazing that. smoke. You yeah, know? it's a, it's an amazing. I smoke. always felt like that was rolled too loose. That was my really? issue with the parasols. I felt like I, I don't know if that was just the batch I got. Yep. When I got them, yeah, you think? I I, I just feel like it what it wasn't packed that tight enough. The, I, I've had too quick. different manufacturers, and I'm like, that's just underfilled. Like the whole yeah. box is just underfilled. Felt very underfilled. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that happens. But yeah, the flavor was awesome. Yeah, I didn't I didn't come across that. It just it just smoked yeah. good. I actually gave it a, a box worthy. I gave it a box worthy. You know, the great sticks to 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 have and knock around. You know, to pretty soft, you, Joe. You're pretty stingy, so that yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I do. You know, I, I, I do like stuff it. This week. Yeah, I, did. I wasn't a fan of of the Maduro though. I, I, you know, I did have the Maduro, and I was like, yeah, the Honduran, and it, it gave my palate yeah. a good a good break. And I actually picked up a few, and and I got them in my golf humidor. You know, so and that's the great thing about those too is that they're not a high price point cigar. Right, like they got a ton of flavor, which which was why I was upset with the batch I got because I wished they lasted longer, and they just. Didn't I don't I don't know if it was a just a packing issue or what, mm-hmm. but they just burned really quick. I don't know if he's still out there knocking around selling the cigars. I don't know. I haven't really heard much of him. I, well, I, we haven't had a CLE rep in New England since uh, Lauren Ferraro. So. Sure. Well, actually, no, <laughs> that's not true because he took over New England for a little bit. Mm. Robert did so. It. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's actually how I met him. He was he was over he was over at a, at another local shop and. And doing that, but I really haven't haven't heard heard anything. From yeah, him. I heard the job was available and be hiring first of the year, and I still haven't heard anything. But right, yeah, I'd so. love to know because I'm a big Aroa fan. Yeah, I give it a box worthy for sure. You know, yeah. and if you can find them lying around in a shop, you can negotiate with the shop owner for sure. Yeah, see, I <laughs> I, I, I would agree with box worthy, but it's box worthy for the price. Right. If yep. that if that was a twelve dollar stick, I mm. yeah. It wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. But. See, it's not to begin with. I mean, you're yeah. only talking Massachusetts prices. You're like eight and a quarter. Yeah. You know it, it's I mean? a good so. kicking around. Yep. Borderline bundle type of thing. Yep. Absolutely. But nice. they got good flavor on them. Uh, I did. Um, it's someone. I don't remember who gave this to me, but I did a Rocky Patel Edge A10. It says the barber pole wrapper on it. Yep. This was a good smoke. I'm not sure what the price point is, but um, it's a solid fiber. I mean, it had great flavors. I didn't find that like it. You know, did a lot of transitions. Like I think a lot of times you. Pick up a barber pole and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get all these like wonderfully complex flavors because there's two different you know wrappers on it. Uh, I didn't I didn't get that from it. It was a good solid smoke. Um, burn and draw were awesome and the flavors were good for a, a fiber rating. So, yeah. do you think that was just up. because the darker wrapper overwhelmed the lighter wrapper? That's an excellent point. It probably could that's, be. Yeah, could be. Yeah, did that's not why get a whole lot. I of always like the Asylum 13 Ogre because it was that Candela wrap, so it yes. gave it a little bit something different. It really combated with the Maduro on it. Yeah, got the uh, Nub Cameroon, um, friend of the show Todd Coombs, who's on uh, two weeks from now on the twenty sixth. Went to a couple different events. One of them was at uh, Ale House. Yep. Uh, support our friends there and uh, Cameroon rapper Nicaraguan binder and filler. Um, Six dollar price point, box of ten. Uh, nice cedar and coffee. Didn't change up like uh, you're talking about, but it was it was consistent all the way through and uh, perfect golf stick for me. Um, but bought a bunch of them, and uh, the nub has eluded me for a few years, and uh, I'm really, really getting into them. Not, not all per se, but I, I really do enjoy the, yeah. uh, the Cameroon. Debuted in 2008, and uh, big smoke, and uh, uh, it was a nice, nice time frame 
on the uh, on the stick. How'd you golf? Uh, decent, might. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> it's not a golf show. I just, you know, <laughs> I'm going to ask, you know. Because, cause, I mean, ever since I've had that Casano, everything else I've golfed. You golf better when you don't uh, have to worry about your uh, I think I need more Casanos smoking. because when I golfed that Casano, I was like palm bogey straight through. Really? Well, that yes. sucks because they're not making those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was Dang a Davidoff up, line. Uh, Davidoff uh, discontinued them. You're uh, screwed. Hang up the bag. Do they better discontinue all Casano? I think they do. I, I know uh, Davidoff's not carrying them anymore, and I'm pretty sure it's because they discontinued them. I don't know if somebody else owns the brand and is going on on their own, but from my understanding of it is Davidoff's just not doing them anymore. Mm. Interesting. So, well, I guess it's double boogie. That's where I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my entire life. <laughs> that's right. As long as the, the drinks and the cigars are enjoyable during the, you know. Yeah, All right. While well, you do this next cigar, I'm, I get it. Did you guys, I didn't go pee during the break. You I go for it. Oh. I got it. Uh, I'll be right back. Go do your next cigar. Actually, yeah, I can pronounce everything here, so we're good, Paul. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I'm here for help if you really, if you really uh, yes. screws up. There. Paul had given us the uh, Padilla series. Uh, 68 Robusto um, had that. Um, your ring gauge is uh, 5x50. The filler is Nicaraguan Honduras. Uh, binder is Nicaraguan. Wrapper is Nicaraguan. Lit this up, and I was kind of like... Uh, what does that one look like? Because it sounds yep. familiar to me, but I don't know what it looks like. Yep, good question. If, if I can picture it. Yep, hold on. Oop, wrong show. No, here. It, it's... um. They come in the individual, yeah. So it's got the Padilla yeah. 68, and they got a little wrap in individual numbers. It's funny, if you go, if uh, Stogie guys did not give it a uh, higher review, uh, I would I would have to give it uh, agree with them. They gave, they gave it, well, they gave it three and a half. I mean, I don't know if that, that's really high or low. Where were you at? Three and a half out of five. I gave it a try one as well. Yeah. I mean, I gave it a try one, you know. Three and a half out of five seems high You know, it's crazy. Cigar aficionado rated 93. Like, really? But that's aficionado. Like, you know, like, can you, did, did you have this smoke? Or, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? How much do they pay you for advertising? Sure. <laughs> sure. But again, for like, like coming, coming from Honduras, I expected it to smoke a little differently. And I think the uh, stronger element it had more of a presence of the Nicaraguan in it. Yeah. There, and it just it it, it just it just, it just seemed a little off to me. See, when it comes you know? to Padilla, for me, Maduro is the way to go with Padilla. Mm. I don't like a lot of their net. Well, I don't can't say I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of their natural wrap stuff, but their Maduro wrappers have this dark, smooth chocolate, not a lot of bite to it on basically all the Maduros they make that it really make them fantastic. Their natural wrap stuff just never really did it for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I I find that out with, with 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 some of the other blends like that, you know, where they do something very very well, um, you know, and then but you know, especially when you're in the natural, I mean, there's it, so much competition within that market. Yeah. But, but then again, from a business perspective, you need to have that natural s- presence to pr- you know prove that you're you know a, a venture outside your wheelhouse. Yeah, 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 it's not a, not a win. yeah right, right. That was that was kind of where where I was at with that. Like I said. I get. I gave it a try. One, you well, know. Well, you tried ducking under the camera. If you're, if you're it, was, out, it was a solid if, attempt. If yeah. you're out there, <laughs> if you're out there, and you see it knocking around, uh, go for it. Yeah. Pick so, it. what was the rating on the Padilla Series 68? Try one. Try one. Yeah. Yep. Try one. Uh, uh, what I did say while while you were going was it, it does to me coming from Honduran. Uh, it, it had more of that Nicaraguan presence. It just, yeah. it just seemed a little off when you let you, you, when you lit it. I and think then it, it needs in. a little. That box needs a little age because I've got some older ones that smoke a lot better. I, I typically do it as like a morning smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think the strength has kind of come down a little. On the new box that I got was kind of just okay. I, I agree with your kind of mm-hmm. try one assessment. I think yeah. they just need time to settle down. Yeah, and then we got into the rating system. How Scott Fishnado rated it ninety three, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. I think it you know maybe eighty nine. The best if I was mm. in that. I mix. was saying uh, Padilla's Maduro stuff. I've always liked their natural wrap stuff. Has always been kind of eh, because mm. they got that dark, smooth Maduro. That's not. It's not a full, but it's smooth. It's got good flavor to it. It's got good chocolate to it. I haven't tried the Maduro in so long. I happen to find those on closeout. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was gifted a Gurkha. I don't normally <clears throat> navigate to the Gurkha. Uh, other than there was an anniversary. Gurk, I, I smoked uh, a couple months ago. One of the was, 15, 18, 21s. Yeah, it, yeah. The, pr- the price point was uh, was high. It was amazing. This was not They're it. Delicious. Uh, this is the uh, Gurkha War Pig, uh, given to me by a friend. Six by fifty-four Toro. 
Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper, uh, Honduran and Dominican long fillers, and Connecticut broadleaf binder. Um, Five dollar price point, box of twelve. Um, it had plenty of plenty of flavor or uh, full cigar, uh, pepper, cedar, cocoa, um, and had a little bit of mintiness in there. I was able to pick out, which mm. I normally I normally have a hard time finding that in other cigars, but uh, it, it was just a fiver for me. Um, solid construction and, and uh, good smoke and everything, but uh, it it is what it is. I, I I wasn't I wasn't wild by it, but it was uh, it was good enough. Yeah, it's not something that if you walked in a humidor, you go, oh, you have these. But if somebody gave you one, you wouldn't be like, no, I'm not smoking that. I think <laughs> it, I th no, I, and I, I haven't seen these uh, anywhere else, and I, I, I'm in all the shops. Uh, I think it may be online only. It could be. Some of their stuff is uh, brick and mortar only. Some of it's online only. Yeah. It runs the gamut. I, people, a lot of They're people dismiss the They're very strange with brand. how they yeah. sort of distribute out cigars. And a lot of people just dismiss the brand entirely, which is unfair. I mean, there yeah. are some stuff from Kirk. I'm like, oh, my God. They're that 15, is they're nuts. 18, they're 21. They make the Ninja in a Perfecto size. It's a little pepper bomb that's absolutely delicious. There's the uh, the Evil. Is that the one with the brown band? I think it's the Evil. I've had some really good okay. ones of those. And there was one called the Black Dragon that was really good. Yeah. It was really good. I, I felt Red, the rating. isn't bad either. What's that? Red Witch isn't bad either. Yeah, the weird names to them too. But. I felt the rating that you know the fiber might have been a little bit generous, but I, I was just try one versus fiber. You know the rating system we have we have in place. Yeah, there was a, a try two, a try, try three, try three, <laughs> right? That, you try know. two and a half. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Smoke one halfway, throw it out your window, and keep That's going. It. <laughs> it, it played a little bit, played a little bit better. Maybe uh, it was a good friend that gave it to me, and he was all fired up about it. So I, you know. Where'd he get him? So hopefully he's you? not watching. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is watching, uh, matter of fact, so sorry. <laughs> well, you're not going to love everything that people yeah. give you, so yeah. No, I, I went in with uh, no, a solid uh, solid perspective. I, you know, I didn't, didn't want to downplay it and just get through it. It, it, was, it was good enough for what it was. Yeah, and it, like I said, it could be one of those situations like I had with the La Antiquidad that you could smoke it again and absolutely love it. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's it, yeah. This this is just the one and done for me, but yeah, maybe yeah, give, give it another whack. Joe Hollywood, what else you got? Uh, EP EP Carrillo uh, Edition Limitada 2013, six and one eighth by fifty four. And you said it right. Yeah, very good. Very good. <laughs> getting there. That was, that was good. I'm getting there. Gold uh, star. Impressed. <laughs> you, should, you should have been here in January. I was butchering everything. Yeah, let's get that Brazilian stuff in it. It's awesome. <laughs> rapper. Long clippings for filler. It's right. great. Yeah. Smoke yeah. it. Good time. Rapping. Uh, the rapping. The, the, the rapper is. Um, <laughs> the rum's good. Right? Um, it is good rum, actually. Ra the rapper is Mexican San Andreas. Binder is Brazil and Nicaragua. Filler, Nicaragua, like I said, 618 by 54. Um, Oasis. Straight up. Now see, I smoked for an I drop. Straight, I, I, like, like I, when I had this, I, I lit it up. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't focused. I was like, yeah, you know, we'll, 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 we'll smoke it. And then all of a sudden, it you was were like, paying attention real it was quick. like, whoa. Like, I completely, like, shut down computer. Stopped. Happened to be like like one o'clock on a Friday, which in in business world that, that that's that time where you know you try to sneak down. things yeah. in, yeah. things settle down, and and I completely just shut down. Like and and I stopped everything I was doing and finished the smoke. Really? I, no, see, haven't, I, I haven't had it. I'll have to grab it. It's, I it's, smoked one and I thought I, I kind of held back on my review because mm -hmm. I don't know if I didn't pay attention to it, but like I didn't review it on the show because I'm like I got to revisit that. It was mm -hmm. kind of my take on it. It wasn't like your instant oasis rating, which makes yeah. me think uh, that the rest of the eight of them I have, we're going to be fighting over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have more? Because I, I went wow. to the shop to get some, which I found <laughs> out and they were closed. <laughs> uh, they, they, were, they were closed, and I was so bummed because I wanted to revisit that. Because the back, the creamy back end from that, really, uh, it's so smooth, right? Yes. So smooth, and I totally like. Like was just engulfed in this, and 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 Jake, if you've been listening, I'm. I usually not only do I butcher the words, I usually throw the cigars out. <laughs> with, I usually throw the baby out with the bathwater. But uh, you have more. 
Yeah. Thought, well, <laughs> you see his eyes? I don't know if the camera caught his eyes. But do you have more? Dude, you, I, is that crazy? You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna die when I tell you like how I, I got them on closeout, dude, for thirty five percent off. Really? Yeah. Shame. Cue the shame oh, bell from Game oh, of Thrones. Are you serious? Because when you're doing some of the research on this stuff, like they, <clears> they're limited. They've, you know, I don't. I mean, they, they've only made fifteen hundred boxes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know the boxes are twenty. They have thirty thousand well, of them out. That's there. one thing about EPC. They're tough to keep up with. They do so much stuff all the time. You can you well, always they, get lost. And they've done a lot of limited stuff. Yeah. And yeah. I find that at least in my experience talking with different retailers, and Jake, you kind of already alluded to it. Like some stuff sells really well in your store, and some stuff doesn't. It depends on your clientele. And some shops like just don't sell a lot of EP Korea well, for whatever reason that is. I don't understand it. It's one of my like if I look at an entire line from a manufacturer. They gotta make some of my most favorite cigars, yeah. right? So, like, I bought this blunt. I don't even remember smoking the 2013 when it came out. I probably did, mm -hmm. but I was like, "Yeah, I'll take that box." <laughs> right. Sure. I mean, it's 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 smooth. Like you, you know, not flavor wise. So don't misconstrue. You know how the pork tenderloin has that smooth and yeah. silky finish. Like, like it's a, it's still strong. It, it's got some oomph to it, but it's, it's smooth. And it's so, it's yeah. like a so, nice fillet. Yes, yeah. exactly. Fork, it's yeah. it's it, it was like oh I was like Good oh my piece god of chocolate cake. Like oh mm. sure like yeah. Greg's chocolate cake. Yeah, it was it was it was amazing. Was Completely. Yeah. If you have one more, I, I would I would love to Did revisit it again. <laughs> 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 it's the time. <laughs> you get those on closeout? Yeah, can you believe that? That's crazy. It's but crazy, e EPC is right? weird. It's it's one of those sticks that you know. For, I don't move any of them at all. I've tried a million times over because I am a big EPC fan. And they just, in my shop for some reason, it's one of the names that people don't recognize and don't go to. Which is a shame. I, it, and I, and I don't know if it's because I have the downtown clientele and if I was in a different area yeah. where people were looking for maybe lower price point or buying more in bulk, they'd move better. I've always been an EPC fan personally, and I just don't understand why people don't smoke more of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, and his short runs uh, and limiteds always get better with age. Mm -hmm. And it, I've never had one that really, even the initial one he did, the inaugural 2009, that thing is still awesome from what I'm told. So I, do steal the eight from him, just wait a little bit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I still enough from Ball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, you. If you could re revisit that over the week and and, and get yeah, back, yeah, yeah. you know, get back because it was amazing. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna revisit it for sure. You know, and 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 I'm gonna and smoke and all eight of them <laughs> 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 at the same back. time. I don't have any more. I don't know what happened. He's gonna take uh, one puff out of each eight and throw them out the window, and right. you can pick them up. Right. No, it's crazy because like you know when I started researching this, I'm like, oh wow, okay, I know it, it's it's limited. It's you know. It's in the name. I get it, sure, but it's one of those things where, when I when I when I start to smoke it, I'm like, wow, like this is, it it just totally totally yeah. blew me out of the water. And it was my second smoke of the day. And Not San Andreas is coming a long way too because San is that Andreas, a San Andreas on there? Yeah, it's a San Andreas wrapper. Yeah. They used to be, where. In Mexico, they just let the plants grow 90 million feet tall and chop them down whole. They didn't really do it correctly. So you got a lot of bitterness out of San Andreas wraps. Ooh. The Oliva family actually went in and bought a ton of land and a ton of farms, and they started growing San Andreas the way that you would grow right. tobacco properly. And it gives you that dark, smooth chocolate flavor as opposed to the in-your-face bitterness it used to give you. Right, right. It's so sil it's silk on the palate. I, I, I can't even... So thank you, we'll leave a See, family. I like the. <laughs> no, I, I smoked these two back. I smoked the 2016 and the 2013 Limitada from EP Carrillo, like back to back. And I think I had the 2016 first. That thing is awesome. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty, it's not strong at all. Like, it's got a mellow feel to it. Very different from the 2013. But yeah, I've been stocking up on anyone closing out EP Carrillo, man. I've been snatching it up. Yeah. yeah. I've been stocking up. Again, it's one of those. Brands that, uh, brands that, like, why isn't... Uh, I don't understand why more people don't no, like to smoke. Dude, move. I really Because even the Connecticut mind. Reserve stuff is good. Yeah. It's real, you know, I, it's I real just good. bought a box of the Churchill even, in the New Wave Reserve. And he, even if, you, if you're going to smoke a big ring, smoke the inch. The inch is actually tasty. His, the, his it, big it, ring stuff It's not stuff just is, like yeah. a tasteless, giant smokestack. It, I mean, you need batteries to smoke it, but it's a good cigar. Mm. Rain Man. Got a... <clears throat> the Isabella... Gorillas Barbable. Uh, this is a company you probably haven't heard of yet, but um, 
through the back channels, my cousin has a uh, Facebook page, 1,500 people, small companies flock to them all the time, and i um, privileged to uh, get a little peek at some of them here and then I, I spoke them. But uh, Ecuadorian and Nicaraguan Maduro and Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler, uh, price point pretty high, I, I feel at 10, uh, 10 bucks. Um, the 6x60 Toro Goro uh, I smoked. The Isabella Cigar Company uh, located in Little Havana, uh, just outside Miami. Uh, they've been around since 2015. It's a new company. The website is very confusing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, me- medium smoke and uh, some spice, leather, and uh, vanilla. Uh, for, uh, this episode is like a barber pole, Lancero special. Uh, <laughs> quite a few of them going on. I, I have a trip... Uh, plan again you know down to florida and uh, little havana specifically uh in september and nice. i'm gonna go down there and see what, see what else they have i think there's like eight facings in the line but uh this was decent enough i gave it a, a fiver rating um let's try it again it was just yeah. one of those get exposed to it once and you know I, the the rating it is what it is uh one time around but um it, it was decent enough was it so it was a baba pole it was a barber pole. Yeah. Did it switch as you were smoking it? Like you know, no, some, no, you know, no, some, no. Like, like I think on the uh, Kurt Kendall's barber poles, the, the hustler, the yeah. hustler, yeah, right. Like you can really one, yeah. taste the switch. But I, I almost feel like that has more to do with how he blended the filler and less with the, with wrapper. the wrapper. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have actually had that one before. You have. I, I agree with you. It, it's not amazing. I'm not going to say go out and search for this in every right, cigar right, shop right. you possibly can, but it's a decent smoke. It was a de- yeah, yeah. Decent cigar. I feel last week uh, I came out with all the uh, all the big boys. This week's so, you know uh, gated back just a little bit, but um, you know, try it again. I, I want to see what else they uh, have to offer, and certainly bring I some back for the boys. Out of all the stuff I smoked recently, the um, Padron Number no. Fifty in the natural. Rapper. I like the natural. I'm, and I'm usually more Maduro Padron than natural Padron. That natural wrap fifty. That There's something cigar about it. is just. It, nothing I've smoked recently comes even close. There's only to that one experience. Padron I like more, and that's the 90 Maduro. 90th. Is that the one in the tube? That's the one in the tube. That's See, I like the 90 natural. Year. 90th nat. Right? The 90th natural comes in the tube. Is they that the both did. The, the 90th natural is in the white tube. Natural the Maduro, Maduro. Yeah, the red tube. Okay. Yeah. So subject. Yeah, I like. See, the, it's funny because I like the 50 natural more than the 50 Maduro, and I like the 90 Maduro 90. more than the 90 I natural. I, See, don't, I, I went through a box of the 90 naturals because I think at that price point for that stick, you can't go wrong, right? Because those yeah. are like 16. Oh, I say only, but in comparison, like you're almost doubling, right, when you go to some of the other Padron smokes. Yeah. But that 90th is that like that 16 dollar price point, right? No, it's higher than that. It's higher than that? It's 20 plus. I, I was going to say 22 maybe. I, I, I've got them for 26 right now. So it's not the most expensive Padron on the market. The 85s and the 80s are more expensive, but it's, right. it, it's not cheap either. But it's a, it's, you got to smoke it once. That 90th natural, though. <sighs> yeah. Man. Now, Inch I'm curious just... to know what you think of that. This is really good. Beyond if I, you know, I tell you what, if I'm in the mood for something really strong, yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna pick this up. It's got some like it, it, it gets to the middle. Eight fifty a stick. And it gets to the middle, and it, it really kind of mellows out. Yeah. Um, it gives you a nice blast of pepper and spice up front, and it's like wakes your palate up, and then it, it mellows and then out. It kind of goes down to medium. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not. It, it's weird. It kind of transitions, but, but it's, it's still got that meaty profile to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, the smoke almost like you could chew it kind once, of thing. Once you get halfway through it, it's full flavor of a medium body. Yeah. It's not. And I, I like it as a full. I don't smoke a, a whole ton of fuller flavored stuff. I smoke a lot of lighter. I've too. I, I, smoke I a lot used lighter to be stuff, but I tell you Pravada, what, double a hair on. I'm moving back now. I, I would give this a box worthy and, and keep these around for, uh, you know, later on at night around the campfire uh, after a big meal kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Well, if you need them, I got them. <laughs> we'll come and see you. Absolutely. Yeah. Shameless plug. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You've met me. I'm shameless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else you got? I'm tapped out. You good? Well, once I did the Oasis, I ended up uh, um, coming across the EP Carrillo uh, Selection uh, Oscuro Especial number six, six by 52. Not bad. It's right? <laughs> good. You right? good. Yeah. Good. Right? But see, I'm getting there, right? Uh, I actually like the stick. Uh, it, it's it's available one, two, three, four, five, six different sizes. The size I had again was a six by fifty-two. Wrapper is uh, Mexican San Andreas Oscuro. 
Uh, binder is Ecuadorian and filler is Nicaraguan. Uh, I gave this a um, fiver for sure. You know, it was it was it was uh, it, it, it was it was good flavor. Pepper, like pepper, yeah. big big presence of pepper, burned slow for 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 uh, for what it was. Um, had it on the golf course and and definitely a, a good stick for sure. Yeah, that's a good smoke. I think I like it a little bit more than a fiber, but that that that's that's a very very good smoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm Jake. Not, I'm else? not sure I've had this one and and reviewed it. Coop did a review. He gave it a box split. Mm-hmm. He said the strength was medium. I don't remember smoking it, so I don't. I don't think I've reviewed it. So it's a great smoke. I'll have to find some. Yeah. On closer, I feel so bad for EP Korea though. I know <laughs> it's, it, it, it's it's it's, uh, it's terrible. I tell you what, if you're if you have a local shop near you, go buy a whole bunch of EP yeah, Korea you, and tell your friends about it. Let's let's and, get some and, sales and up. Please for EP start Korea. asking me for it so I can bring it back in again. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Did you smoke anything that was like out of this world lately? The, I, those John Carloses have been hitting mm-hmm. the right spot. Um, just absolutely. These Joel Shermans, they're, like I said, I've been moving away from the full bodies more. This is more of a mild for me personally. Yeah. But the flavor on this is just. Oh, it just pours flavor. Perfect. I agree. It's so smooth. And the retro hail on it is awesome. Absolutely. I'm going to have to go back and revisit Don Carlos now. Yeah. I haven't had one in a while. You won't I, be disappointed. I, no, you see, won't be. I told you before, like, I, I had a box that, like, the cellophane was even more yellow than this. Right. Oh, they were just so good. I was spoiled. Yeah, so Joe's true. converted me. I'm a, I'm a uh, right, <laughs> absolute believer now. I, I'm like, you got to try this win. stick. I'm, you know, when the, a couple what, about three, four weeks back, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm like, you got to, you got to try this stick. Not even hitting them hard, right? Yeah, I, I've been. Uh, yeah, at least, at least, at least twice a week for me. Absolutely, you know, like, to 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 get in rotation. And that thing will hold an ash right to the band. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's true too. Yeah, that's yep. all good. Great smoke. Had one yesterday. Nice. Well, with that, that concludes this episode of the Stogie Geek Show. Thanks, everyone, for listening and watching. We'll see you next time.